<laughs> I'm looking for my old hair ribbons. Debbie and I are doing jewellery making later and I need some pretty bows. Is there anything good in here? Aha! Treasure! <laughs> that's not treasure. That's just an old sun catcher. You can have it if you like. A sun catcher? How does it work? Uh, you just hold it up and it catches all the sunlight. Wow, thanks Ruby. I'm going to go and catch it right now. Come on son, where are you? I want to catch you. <sighs> it's not working. Maybe if I try somewhere else. Busby. Hello. What are you doing? Well, I was trying to catch the sun. Catch the sun? You can't catch the sun. You can if you've got one of these. It's broken. It's not doing anything. <sighs> I know. Throw it away then. Come on the swings. Let's play sky high. Wait a minute. Maybe we could do something else with it. Barnaby. We tried, it just doesn't do anything. Hello everyone. Oh, don't forget to stop by the bus stop later to try the new rainbow smoothie. It's our special today. Thanks, Bobby, we will. <sighs> We're finished here anyway. Oh, that's pretty. It's pretty boring. It looks just like a jewel. Like a diamond? <laughs> Maybe the Queen would like it for her crown. Ah, good morning to you all. I am just on my way to the buzz stop to try the special rainbow smoothie. <gasps> oh, goodness gracious. We've got a diamond thingy. We thought the Queen might like it. I see, I see. Most intriguing. Mm, it might be worth a pretty penny or two. I think he likes it. Apologies, but I have to reject your kind offer. It's a pretty enough bauble, but a mere trinket. Not quite good enough for the royal crown, I'm afraid. Typical. Throw it away, Busby. It's rubbish. I suppose so. <sighs> One's for Ruby. She'll be here in a minute. We're going to make some jewellery. Hmm, I think it needs more sparkly bits. Oh, I saw something very sparkly at the playground earlier. Busby was trying to play with it, but then he decided to throw it away. Really? I wonder if it's still there. Thanks, Bobby. Tell Ruby I'll be back really soon. <coughs> Bye. <laughs> to show Ruby. Another glass of your finest rainbow smoothie, please, Barry. Healthy and colourful. <laughs> look, Ruby, look! It's lovely, Debbie. What a pretty jewel. <gasps> wow! Do you like it, Busby? I made it from Debbie. Look! Debbie, where did you get it? I found it in the playground bin. It's my sun catcher. It works. It works after all, Jasper. Look. I knew we should have kept it. I'm sorry, Debbie, but I would really like it back. Um, it is actually mine, Busby. Remember? But you gave it to me. And you threw it away. It's mine now. Um, <clears throat> ah, now then. If I could just reopen our discussion of your kind offer, Busby. What? My kind offer? Yes. I didn't realise your bauble was quite so sparkly. 
On reflection, I think it would be just the ticket for the Queen's special occasion crown. But it's mine! Hey, calm down, calm down, everyone. Let's not argue. It's too nice a day for arguing. I know. What if we all share it? Share it? How? We could cut it up. We could all have a piece. No, it won't be able to catch the sun then. We should keep it somewhere we could all look at it. Like here, at the bus stop. That's a top idea, Busby. Tip top. A communal sun catcher. Her Majesty will be very impressed. And I know just the place to hang it. Oh, the colours of the rainbow. Now everyone will know where to come for their rainbow smoothies. Thank you, Busby and Ruby and Debbie and Lord Bartleby Buzz. And me. an email on our new tablet. Not so difficult after all, eh, Mama? <laughs> Not with your help. You're a real computer whiz, Ruby. Thanks, Mama. Come on, I'm taking you out for lunch and I'll use the tablet to book a table online. Yeah! Hey, why aren't you taking me out for lunch? You're not a computer whiz. <laughs> Never mind, Busby. I'll order us some pizzas later and we'll take them to the park. Barry's got a new takeaway service now, remember? Yay! Thanks, Papa! Hey! Perfect timing, ladies! One delicious and nutritious ham and cheese pizza all ready to go! But we didn't order a takeaway, Barry. We booked a table for lunch. Oh, come on, I'll find you a table. Oh, no. What's the matter, Barry? My new online takeaway system isn't working. Everything's getting mixed up. To be honest, I'm not that confident with computers. <laughs> but you're a whiz in the kitchen. And I'm a whiz on computers. I could help Barry with his takeaway system. <gasps> really, Ruby? I think that might be a bit complicated, even for you, Ruby. Please, Mama, let me try. Go on, Mama Bee. She certainly can't make it any worse. Well, maybe she could try after lunch. Do -do 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 -do. There, a cappuccino for you, while your whiz of a daughter sorts out my computer. Thanks, Barry. Right, young lady, see what you make of this. Click on the pizza for the takeaway ordering system and the chair for the table booking system. The two systems are getting mixed up with each other. Exactly! Howdy doody everyone! Hello Postman Spider, what can I get you? Well, I wanted to try one of your new takeaway pizzas, Barry. Perfect, Postman Spider. I'll order it for you now and check the takeaway system is working. One delicious and nutritious pizza! Ooh, thanks, Barry! Wow, Ruby, you've got the takeaway system working perfectly! I do appreciate you being round. And if I work on the online booking system, I can probably stop the two systems getting mixed up. Be my guest, Ruby Doo! <laughs> Pepperoni pizza, extra hot. Oh dear me, no, Barry. I booked a table for tea. Besides, I'm watching my waistline. Hi, Barry. Two cheese and tomato pizzas, please. We ordered them online. Oh, did you? Oh, no! 
Uh, spinach and broccoli pizza? Spinach? Broccoli? Yuck! Oh, you didn't order takeaway pizza, did you? No! Besides, we always have ham and pineapple. Right. Mum, you promised me a honey shake. What have I done? Oh. <sighs> what about our pizza? What are you to that? Get some Chinese. Oh dear, I think I just made it worse. Oh Ruby, why didn't you ask for help? Because I'm supposed to be a computer whiz. Hi Bobby. Oh, what's up? Um... Ruby tried to help Barry sort out his booking and takeaway system. But I messed up. Come on, I think I can help. Hey, you did it! Only with Bobby's help. You were nearly there, Ruby, honestly. Sorry, Barry. You tried your best, Ruby, and that's all that counts. Besides, it's fixed now. Woohoo! Even whizzes have to ask for help sometimes. There you go. A table for one, as requested, with a regular honey shake, no froth. Thank you, Barry. The pleasure is mine, Dr. Beetle. Oh, hang on, more customers arriving. Hey, one perfectly cooked ham and pineapple pizza. Oh, yes, just what we ordered. Cool, thanks, Barry. Hi, guys. Hello, Barry. Table for three, please. Of course. Now, let me see. Mm -mm -mm. Hey, the takeaway and booking systems are working perfectly now, Ruby, thanks to you. Great. But I can't find a reservation for you here. Oops, I forgot to book. Papa! Never mind, I'm sure I can find you a table. Come with me. Wow, these pizzas sound amazing, Barry. Barry is a whiz, Papa, didn't you know? Right back at you, Ruby. Well, I haven't fetched the carpool car yet. And the picnic basket isn't packed. Maybe you can help while I take Baby for her nap. Help pack the picnic basket? Then we'll definitely have the best picnic ever. I'm going to pack everything. <laughs> Don't pack too much or you won't be able to carry the basket down to the beach. Don't worry, we'll just pack the things we need for the best picnic ever. I know exactly what we need. Me too. See you soon. <laughs> so, we'll need buckets and spades. We want sandwiches, carrots and dips, and a bat and ball, and a rug and cushions. Hello! Picnic, picnic! Oh, I hope you're as excited as I am. Oh, what's this? Are you in charge of the packing, you two? Yes, but we haven't started yet. I'll make the sandwiches. <gasps> oh, good. A ball. Button ball is my favourite. Right. We need more games. Hmm. Oh, right. That's a lot of games. Won't the basket get too full? Uh, it wouldn't be the best picnic ever if we ran out of games to play. Oh, OK, OK, Jump. I'll take you out. <laughs> hmm. We don't need cushions. We'll be too busy playing games to sit down. Best picnic ever. Oh, I know what else we need. Games for Jump. 
here are the peanut butter sandwiches. I hope you've packed plenty of your mama's muffins. I can't get enough of them. Me neither. I'll pack more. <laughs> the best picnic ever if we run out of muffins. <laughs> oh, Busby, we're never going to need all of these. Best picnic ever. I know what else we'll need. Snacks for jump. Nice and light. I thought you two would pack way too much. Me too. Well done, Busby. Well done, Ruby. Thanks, Grandma. <laughs> Hooray! Hooray! We're going to the beach. La, 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 la. We're going to the beach. La, 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 la. So come on, everyone. Come and join us in the summer sun We're gonna have it's some fun Down at the beach it's This is definitely the best spot Right here Yes, it's perfect oh. Oh. Ruby, Busby Is this all that you've packed? Well, we've got toys and food for jump, but nothing to sit on, nothing to eat off, and no games to play. What? Well, where did the things I packed go? You left no room for food. Where did all the things that I packed go? You unpacked what I put in. It's all your fault. No, it's yours. Now, now, you two. Arguing won't make the best picnic ever. Sorry, Busby. I should have asked what you wanted to pack. Me too. No worry. All brothers and sisters disagree sometimes. But they can work together to sort it out. We're going to have to if we're going to save the picnic. It's not too late to make this the best picnic ever. I'll get the sitting things. You think about the games. <laughs> And I've got the food! And after we've eaten, I know exactly what game to play. OK, your turn, Grandpa. Who am I? Whoop, whoop, whoop. Um, are you Grandma B? <laughs> uh, me? Uh, a seesaw? Oh, well, who are you? <laughs> I was being jump, Grandpa. No, oh, jump, of course. <laughs> Silly me. Well done, you two. You've really managed to make this picnic the best picnic ever. <laughs> <laughs> Stall. I'm trying out my summer muffin range, peach and raspberry. I'm hoping they'll be popular. And I'm helping. Very good. Whew, isn't it hot? That's why I'm offering my refreshing iced honey tea and fruit lollies. Blubber delicious, even if I don't say so myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear me. <laughs> uh, hello, everyone. <laughs> Oh, Dr. Beetle, why on earth are you carrying all that heavy stuff in this heat? 
Oh, it's dangerous to overstrain yourself in the sun, you know. <laughs> That's why I'm here. I've come to set up my sun awareness store. Oh, what a good idea. I'll be telling everyone about the possible dangers of the sun and how to protect themselves. Would you like me to help Dr Beetle? I'm good at helping. Me too. Uh, what are we helping with? Well, Vincent, my muffins are melting and there are no customers. Time to go home, I think. Ha! If the customers aren't coming to me, I'm going to them. Oh, oh dear boys. I was really hoping to spread the word about safety in the sun. But there's no one here. Nice honey tea, fruit lollies, delicious, icy. I know. Why don't you take your son advice out to Honey Farm, Dr Beetle? Just like Vincent with his iced tea. Oh, I don't have any wheels, Busby. But we've got wings. We could be your sun awareness team. Your super sun awareness team. Oh, I say. What a wonderful idea, boys. Here comes the super sun awareness team. Bye, Dr Beetle. Uh, yeah, good luck. Be aware of the sun. Prepare for the sun. Take care in the sun. And have fun. Have fun in the sun. Out for a race. Sunscreen on your face. When the sun beats down, protect your crown. Extra boiling with super scorching sprinkles on. <sighs> but there's loads more sun awareness to spread about. Come on. No, I'm stopping in the shade. Same here. But we've got to carry on. We're doing such a great job. <sighs> I'll do it on my own then. Phew. There you go, Katie. Stay safe in the sun. Thanks, Busby. Phew! Got to go! Bye, Busby. Take it easy. <sighs> Hello, Millicent. Don't forget to drink sunscreen and rub a hat into your skin. Huh? Are you all right, Busby? Fine. Just spreading the word about sun in the fun. <sighs> Slow down, Busby. <sighs> oh! Mrs. Wasp, drink hats and put on a bottle of water. Huh? Are you all right, Busby? Spreading the word. Sunny, isn't it, Mrs. Wasp? Don't forget to drink some water, Busby. <sighs> Hi, Barnipa. Hello, Jaspy. <sighs> Are you okay, Busby? You're acting very strange. Um, actually, I feel a bit strange. Ah, uh, hello, boys. Hello, Dr Beetle. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Um, uh, Mrs Wasp told me that I might need to check in on Busby, so I came to find you. Ah, no, let's have a look. Mm -hmm. yes. Oh, yes, a mild case of heat exhaustion, I'm afraid, Busby. You need to rest now. Oh dear, I should have slowed down. And worn a hat. And used sunscreen. 
And drank lots more water. And stayed in the shade. And followed my own advice. <laughs> <laughs> Ice tea, anyone? Ice lollies? Uh, yes, indeed. A round of lollies for my super sun awareness team, please. Thanks, Dr. Beetle. Oh, no, no, no. Thank you, boys. Yeah, it's time to have some fun in the sun. Or in the shade. some exciting news for you. Miss Butterfly has offered to give after-school dancing lessons. Hooray! What kind of dancing lessons, Miss Butterfly? I don't think I'm good at any other dancing except my own. I'm going to teach all kinds of dancing, Busby. Um, some of the stars are a little tricky, but I'm sure everyone will manage. Anyone who signs up for lessons with Miss Butterfly can perform a dance at our special school disco at the end of the week. Hey! Hey! Remember, you must sign up with Miss Butterfly and tell me if you wish to perform. Oh, we'd like to perform, Miss Ladybird. Yes, please. Why not? We don't have to take lessons and do a dance at the school disco, do we? No, Busby. You don't have to if you don't want to. Phew. And five. Oh, watch out. <laughs> Ruby and Debbie are really good at dancing and they're finding it hard. Are you sure you don't want to perform in the school disco show, Busby? <laughs> no, thanks, Miss Ladybird. I'll just stick to my own kind of dancing. Sorry, Busby. We're busy rehearsing the cowboy dance Miss Butterfly taught us. Watch! Yeah! That looks like fun. Yeah! It is! Come on, Jasper. Let's practice some more. <sighs> Bye then. See you later, partner. Yeah! Busby, we can't wait to do it at the school disco. <sighs> Are you okay, Busby? Isn't your dance routine going well? I don't have one. I didn't sign up with Miss Butterfly, and now I wish I had. Are you sure it's not too late? Of course. I can find Miss Butterfly and tell her I changed my mind. Thanks, Mama. Hello, Miss Butterfly. Could you teach me a new dance, doll, for the school disco, please? Oh, I'm sorry, Busby, but I'm all booked up now. And I thought Miss Ladybird said you didn't want to perform at the disco. That's right. I didn't. Never mind. It doesn't matter. Oh, there, young Busby. Sorry, Mr Millipede. <laughs> I expect you were thinking about your dance. I've just seen Jasper and Barnaby. They're cutting quite a caper with their cowboy routine. <laughs> <sighs> no, I'm not doing a dance. I didn't sign up with Miss Butterfly because I thought learning a new dance style would be too tricky. And now it's too late. Oh, <laughs> I think you're forgetting that Miss Butterfly's not the only one at Honey Farm who knows a dance step or two. Wow! I could teach you a bit of tap for the school disco if you like. Really? And you think I could do it? Of course. It just takes a bit of practice. Hey, meet me at the garage and we'll take it from there. 
Thanks, Mr Millipede. I'll see you there. everyone too. Oh, well, go ahead, Busby. <laughs> to learn a new dance style after all. I'll sign up for your lesson straight away next time. <laughs> How about we sign up with you? Can you teach us your dance? Of course. Just do what I do. Watch. Watch. 